Hey guys, wanted to make a really quick video for you uh, for discussion groups this week because uh, we're doing things a little bit differently. Uh, you all should have received an invitation to be um, a discussion group leader if you're a lady of the middle school girls, which really is just going to be all of the girls or the middle school guys, which is going to be all the guys. We're splitting by guys and girls this week. Um, next week is our talk about boundaries in dating, so we'll split by guys and girls again. But this week, we're answering the questions are trying to give an intro into who to date and how to date and I just think we can have a better more pointed uh, gender specific discussion if we split by guys and girls this week so that's why we're doing it that way um, and I want um, all of our leaders to be somewhat involved uh, in discussion groups this week and, and next week if possible as well um, and so there's just four questions this week for you ladies, um, Audrey, Rhonda, uh, Morgan, and Katie, if you guys each just want to pick one question to cover. Uh, so you can all cover a question. Uh, I think that would be great. Makes your workload kind of easy and lets the girls hear from different perspectives as you're all um, in slightly different um, places uh, in your life. Uh, and guys, we'll divvy up ours as well. Um, and so I'll send uh, all of our girl leaders um, one group of discussion questions and the guys will get a different um, copy. Uh, the first question and the last question are different for the girls in the guys group, or at least the answer is different. Uh, the middle two questions are the same for both the girls and the guys group. So um, I'll put you guys in a message together hopefully and try to let you coordinate who's going to cover uh, what question ahead of time so that you can be prepped. Um, but that's how things are going to go this week. It's going to be a little different. Uh, the first question, I'll run through these really quick, is on who to date, which I'll cover really, uh, I'm only going to cover a, a few uh, qualities um, in the message. And so I wanted us to dig into that a little deeper in discussion time. Our girls are going to run through uh, the elder qualifications in this portion, which seems like maybe a weird thing to do. Uh, but I think that's a great place to start. It's a, a list, a description of what a godly man ought to look like. It's not uh, over the top. That's what most people, when they read through the elder qualifications, come away thinking that these are not like super special characteristics. They're just good, godly characteristics. And so I think all men, whether or not they aspire and want to be an elder, should um, aim and pursue those qualities. And so ladies should chase after guys that are uh, pursuing these qualities or embodying these qualities. And so there's a 15 quality list usually that people boil it down to. I'm going to give a, a handout to uh, the girls for their discussion group on this portion. You don't have time to go through each and every one of them. I would give a brief intro on why are we looking at the elder qualifications when we're asking who to date um, and then hand that out and maybe have uh, one or two or three in your own mind that kind of stands out to you um, as uh, maybe something we don't often think about or look for uh, when we're evaluating somebody to date or someone to marry and then throw it up to them about uh, what are things that stand out to you, things that maybe you don't often think about, things you think are really important qualities um, for um, uh, a guy to have that you might date or a, a future husband to have. Uh, and so that's how you'll go through that first portion, the girls, the guys. We're going to go through Proverbs 31 really quickly, and I'll lead that portion um, of our group. So uh, you guys don't need to um, be too dialed in on that, but read through it ahead of time if you want to come with your own thoughts. The second question is uh, on how to date, uh, which is kind of pulling back from a couple weeks ago when we started our series. This is something we didn't have time to get into in discussion groups and a lot of our group wasn't there because of um, uh, the Labor Day weekend. And so uh, it's asking if dating is supposed to be this evaluation for marriage, how does that change um, how we go about uh, kind of navigating the dating process? There's a lot of answers here. I've given you several. There's probably more that you could come up with. Throw that question out to students, have them thinking about you know, how should I actually approach dating um, 
a lot of times people just go into it kind of mindlessly. Uh, we're just going to go to dinner. We're going to go to a movie. We're just going to hang out. We're just going to have fun. And we want a little, we want to infuse some intentionality into dating um, with this question and having students think about that. Um, question number three, again, these are the questions two and three are the same for the guys and the girls. Uh, when we're looking for a date or eventually a spouse, we're kind of evaluating two things. We're looking at their character and we're looking at our chemistry uh, with one another. What we'll focus mostly on um, on Sunday morning is character and that's the thing you should look at first. But chemistry is also important and so we'll have a little discussion here about what is chemistry, how important is it, how do you evaluate it, uh, how how much do you guys how much chemistry do you need to have do you need to be really dialed in or yeah just how important is that in dating and in marriage and so again i've given you a list of a couple of things that you can go over things that you want to evaluate as you're dating it is important obviously that you have some form of chemistry you're going to spend a lot of time uh, on the couch um, in the car, just talking with one another. So you wanna enjoy talking to each other, enjoy hanging out, have things to talk about. You don't need to like all of the same things, but um, if you don't like any of the same things, that may be problematic. Um, and some of those other things you can discuss through, add your own. I'm sure students will have different things that I didn't list there as well. Uh, and then our last question is the uh, another one that gets a little more gender specific. This is something I will uh, touch on in uh, the lesson. Uh, when I talk on how to date, one of the things I'm going to say is we should date with clarity. Um, and I'll reference Ephesians 4.15 that we should speak the truth as believers to one another in love. And so that's a big flaw I see in dating uh, in kind of the modern age, this lack of clarity. Nobody ever knows, are we just dating or are we talking? Do you like like me or do you just kind of like me as a friend and there's just all this ambiguity and murkiness in dating and Christians should um, speak the truth to one another in love. They should stand out in that way that they're actually really clear and upfront with people as they navigate this uh, kind of um, uh, emotionally vulnerable stage of life of dating we should be willing to be honest with each other and speak that truth in love and gentleness so i'll touch on that a little in the lesson and you're going to dig more in discussion groups about what exactly does it mean to date with clarity as a female and then what does it mean to date with clarity as a male um, and so those are two uh, i think they diverge a little bit they overlap a lot um, but uh, I think there's some nuances you can get into if we split by guys and girls. And so, again, I've listed some things here for uh, the ladies. I'm sure, again, you guys are ladies, so you probably have better uh, uh, perspective and examples on what does it ac actually mean as a woman to be clear in the dating process. What's my specific role in that? Where is it different from the guy's role? Where is it the same? Um, and guys will have um, a similar discussion. So... Again, I'll send this video out and the specific girls discussion group questions to the ladies and the guys discussion group to our guys and make sure you guys communicate and talk about who's going to take what topic um, and come prepped with that on uh, Sunday morning. I'll see you guys then. Thanks.